The pen BBS 469 is a unique fountain pen that's mostly cylindrical and made out of a turned acrylic. The resin that we have here today is called Tootsie, which is a deep brown with nice swirls of chatoyancy. Both of the caps are made out of that same resin. They are round at the top. They do not have any roll stops or clips or even branding. The center of the pen, we have a bit of clear acrylic with two different ink chambers. The caps unscrew in one and a half turns to reveal two different nibs. And what you essentially have here are two eyedropper fountain pens that are connected into one. The sections are a hourglass shaped section that's nice in the hand. Um, below the section, we have threads that are smooth to the touch, followed by a step up into that ink chamber. This ink chamber is too small to fit a cartridge, so it's pretty much strictly an eyedropper fountain pen. The caps do not post on top of each other, so while you are writing, you are going to have to leave one cap on the table. In terms of size comparisons, here we have the Pen BBS 469, a G2 Pilot Rollerball Pen, and your typical Sharpie. Okay, disassembling the Pen BBS 469. The caps unscrew. They don't have cap liners or anything, so there's nothing else to disassemble. The way that these seal off to the nib is just with a little step. The sections unscrew from the main body. And then the main body is just one piece of clear acrylic. The sections do have an O-ring at the bottom. It's important to silicone grease that pretty heavily as it is an eyedropper pen. The nib and feed unscrew from the section in a little collar. And then if you want, you can pull the nib and feet out of the nib collar to do a deep cleaning. And now you have the pen fully disassembled. To reassemble the Pen BBS 469, we're going to take our feed and I'm actually going to do a nib swap. Here we have a uh, Fountain Pen Revolution number six size steel nib. This one is an architect nib. So that slides into place onto the feed. There is a little ridge on the feed that prevents the nib from um, being slid too far down. We're going to then take our collar and slide that in place. Take a section and screw the nib, feed, and collar in place. And then that section screws onto the barrel. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Nib, feet, and collar screw into place. And that screws onto the barrel. And the caps screw on. And we're ready to ink up. Okay, inking up the Pen BBS 469. We're going to uncap. And let's start with the um, architect nib. We'll unscrew the section. I'm going to put diamine green black in this one. Grab an eyedropper. Put 
pull up some ink. We'll do one more. Now it's important while you're eye dropping to make sure you don't get any ink on the threads as that will affect how it seals off. That looks like a good full fill. And now I'll put the section back on. And we'll cap it. I'm going to hold the pen upside down. That's going to help keep, help get that ink to start flowing through the section. And while that's happening, we're going to unscrew the other nib feed and section. And in this one, I'm going to put in ox blood. So we'll have one chamber that's green and one that's red. And grab another eyedropper. This one is a, a pump fill. So you push down. It has a little piston that goes up and down. another one. Again, being careful not to get ink on those threads. That looks like a pretty good full fill. And we'll put the section back on. can really feel that o-ring sealing up against this so that's good we're not going to get any leakage put the cap back on and i'll probably let this rest here for maybe 15 minutes before we go ahead and try writing cap the ink don't want a major spill and we're ready to write Okay, I've let this pen rest for about 15 minutes, so the ink should flow pretty nicely through the sections. I'm gonna start off with the red side. Again, this is pen BBS 469. Um, the nib is a fine nib. From pen bbs if you look closely this is a upturn nib it's also called a mini food a what that does is it allows you to have some line variation based on how you're holding the pen so at a low angle you'll have a pretty thick line a normal writing angle it'll be a little bit thinner at a high writing angle it's an extra thin line and you can also write pretty nicely in reverse. Um, and then of course the ink, again, is diamine. Ox blood. But that's not our only nib and ink for this pen. We also have the other side. So again, this is pen BBS 469. And this is a fountain pen revolution architect nib. What an architect nib 
is, is a special grind that produces thin uh, vertical strokes and thick horizontal strokes. So it's kind of the reverse of a stub. Here, I'll show you. Here we have vertical strokes and horizontal strokes. Let me hold it at a better angle. <laughs> Maybe I can show it to you like this. Here's vertical strokes and horizontal strokes. There, that's a little bit clearer to see. I tend to hold my pen at a pretty extreme angle, so the effect of that is actually the reverse, and I kind of have this behave similar to how typical people write with a stub. And then our ink is also diamine. And this one is green, black. So what do I think of the Pen BBS 469? I think it's a very unique fountain pen, beautiful to look at, um, get that kind of hourglass appearance in the middle. It's really cool if you want to have two different inks and two different nibs, easily swappable. However, the only issue I have with this is really the use case. I could see this being a great pen to take on a trip if you only have space for one pen in your pouch. Um, but because there's no clip or roll stop, it's not the most friendly one to travel with. You set it down on a table and it rolls. Which then leads me to think, okay, maybe this pen is better suited for a desk, which is fine. However, if you're sticking to just a desk on a, with this pen, why not just have multiple pens? So it kind of confuses me in that respect. The nice thing, of course, is that you can easily switch between the two different nibs. So maybe if you are, you know, a sketcher that likes to switch quickly between colors or between sizes, this would be a great option for you. And that just leaves me to say, Thank you for watching.